Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that find the equation of the regression line of x and y if the observations x i y i are the following. And that are 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 3, 6, 4, 7, 9, 9, 10, 11, 7, 12, 8, Draw the regression line of x on y. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that are the regression equation of x on y is given by x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole where x bar is the mean value of x y bar is the mean value of y and bxy is the regression coefficient of x on y and secondly the regression coefficient bxy is given by the formula summation xy minus Summation x into summation y over n whole upon summation y square minus summation y whole square by n. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question, the various observations are given to us and we have to find the equation of the regression line of x on y. So first of all, we will draw a table for these observations. So we have written the observations in this table and here in the first column we have written the various values of x and in the second column Corresponding to x, we have written the various values of y. Now in the next column, we will find x square by taking the square of the different values of x and then in the next column, we will find y square by taking the square of the different values of y. In the next column, we will find x, y, that means the different values of x into the different values of y. Now let us find x square. Now here x is equal to 2, so x square will be 4. Here x is 4, so x square will be 16. 5 square is 25. 6 square is 36. 7 square is 49. 9 square is 81. 11 square is 121. 12 square is 144. And now we will find y square. By squaring different values of y. Now here y is equal to 2 and 2 square is 4, 5 square is 25, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 9 square is 81, 10 square is 100, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64. Now we will find x into y. Now here 2 into 2 will be 4, 4 into 5 will be 20, 5 into 3 will be 15, 6 into 4 is 24, 7 into 9 is 63, then 9 into 10 is 90, 11 into 7 is 77, and 12 into 8 is 96. Now on adding the different values of x, we are getting summation x is equal to 56. And on adding different values of y, we are getting summation y is equal to 48. And on adding different values of x square, we are getting summation x square is equal to 476. And on adding different values of y square, we are getting summation y square is equal to 348. And in the last form, we will add all the values of xy. And we will get summation xy is equal to 389. 
Now, the mean value of x is x bar, which is equal to summation x over number of observations. Now, here summation x is 56, and number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So it will be 56 by 8, which is equal to 7. And the mean value of y is y bar, which is equal to summation y by n, which is equal to, now summation y is 48, and n is 8, so this will be equal to 6. Now, x bar is equal to summation x by n, which is equal to 7, and y bar is equal to summation y by n, which is equal to 6. Now, using this result, which is given in the key idea, the regression coefficient of x on y is given by bxy, which is equal to summation xy minus summation x into summation y over n, whole upon summation y square minus summation y whole square by n. Now summation xy is 389, summation x is 56, summation y is 48, summation y square is 348 and n is 8. Putting all these values here, this will be equal to 389 minus 56 into 48 by 8 whole upon 348 minus 48 square by 8 which is further equal to 389 minus 56 into 48 by 8 whole upon 348 minus 48 into 48 by 8. Now 8 into 6 is 48. Here also 8 into 6 is 48. So this will be equal to 389 minus 56 into 6 is 336 all upon 348 minus 48 into 6 is 288 which is further equal to 53 by 60, which is equal to 0 0.88. Therefore, Vxy is equal to 0 0.88. Now, using this result, which is given in the key idea, the equation of the regression line of x on y is x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar the whole. Now here x bar is 7, y bar is 6 and we will take bxy as 53 by 60. Putting all these values here, this implies x minus 7 is equal to 53 by 60 into y minus 6 the whole. Further, on cross multiplying, this implies 60x minus 420 is equal to 53y minus 318, which further gives 60x minus 53y minus 102 is equal to 0. Now this is the equation of the regression line of x and y. Now we know that the regression line always passes through the point x bar, y bar, that 
that is the mean. So here, x bar is 7, y bar is 6. Therefore, the point 7, 6 lies on the line that is on this line which is given by equation number 1. Now for any value of y, we can find out the corresponding value of x by this equation. So let us take y is equal to 2, then put in y is equal to 2 in equation 1, we put 60x minus 53 into 2 minus 102 is equal to 0, which implies 60x is equal to 106 plus 102. This further implies 60x is equal to 208, which gives x is equal to 208 by 60. Now here, 2 into 30 is 60, 2 into 104 is 208, 2 into 15 is 30, and 2 into 52 is 104. So this implies x is equal to 52 by 15, which is equal to 3.5 approximately. Therefore, for y is equal to 2, x is equal to 3.5. Therefore, we can say that the point 3.52 lies on the line, that is this line, which is given by equation number 1. And we have proved down here that the point 76 also lies on the line 1. So the regression line of x on y passes through the two points That is the point 3.52 and the point 76. Now we have to draw the regression line of x and y. So we will obtain the required line of regression of x and y by plotting these points and drawing a line joining them. So here we have plotted the points 76 and 3.52 and on joining these two points we are getting the required line of regression of x and y. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.